What is going on guys? So we're gonna be starting off today's video in the truck and um currently on my way to the grocery store as you guys know i practically live at the freaking grocery store man like i'm literally there every other day um i don't know why i feel like i always forget something or i'm just running out on stuff it's just a constant battle of driving to the store anyway i want to i want to kick off today's topic with um Maybe some of you guys don't know, maybe some of you guys do know. And if you guys have been watching my previous videos and been following me, you guys know I started a mini cut. Once again, I'm planning to do eight weeks of cutting and dieting, really tracking my macros to the exact T. I really wanna pass my previous you know, cut that I just recently went through. And you guys are probably thinking like, didn't you just go through a cut? Why are you, guys, why are you gonna cut again? After the cut was done, I lost it guys. Like. It was horrendous after what I was eating. I was eating non-stop, binge eating junk food left and right for the whole month of August. And not only was I noticing the weight gain and like the facial, like the facial weight gain and just basically fat gain in general, but also like people who I would hang out with, people I work with, they're like, dude, are you are you alright? Like you're you're getting pretty heavy. And I'm just like, yeah, man, I'm just enjoying myself. And that was the excuse I would give. I'm enjoying myself because I just got off this like insane diet. You know what I mean? And it wasn't even insane. I just had no self-control. I binged out and I was giving myself this reason of I'm enjoying myself because I dieted for so long to feel make myself feel better. And that was bad on my part. I should have never let myself go that far. I shouldn't have never, never let it go to that extent. Because once you go that far, all the hard work that you put into that one diet that you did, it's gone. Like, it literally disappeared within oh, two weeks. Like, all my hard work over the course of ten weeks disappeared in two. So, it was absolutely crazy. And, um, I love to see my body transform. So, I'm gonna make this happen once again I, i'm about to go on my second week of consistently eating properly and eating good and it just feels great i noticed on my previous videos how i would talk to you guys about how bad my acne would get and i've noticed if you guys could see that like it's not the perfect skin but it's cleared up a hundred times more than it has ever before and those I think it would had to do with all the food I was taking in. Like it was just bad food, fried food, um, greasy food. It just had to do some so much with my diet, and I knew that. And I wasn't even hitting my water like goal for the day. I usually try hitting about a gallon to a gallon and a half of water a day. I was nowhere near that. So I goes to show: drink your water, eat healthy, and you're, you you should be golden in all spa, all aspects of uh, your body, physically and mentally. Like right now, I feel absolutely phenomenal knowing i'm back on track and you know just feel overall well-rounded so enough of the diet you guys know i'm about to diet again for eight weeks if you guys want to stick through this diet with me i'm going to be sure to let you guys know in detail exactly what i do what my cardio is for the week my workout split and um when i adjust my macros but that will be on a whole a totally different video just to save you guys some time so as of right now um I just want to let you guys know is to not be content with where you are. Like, do not be happy. Yes, happiness is great, right? But if you're so content on your happiness that you have right now, eventually you're going to stay content with the happiness that you have and you're never going to strive to reach your full potential and reach even more happiness and more success that you have. You know what I mean? Because deep down, everyone's capable of doing tremendous things. You just got to be willing to sacrifice the time and effort to do them. You know what I mean? So, some more great news that I got, guys. Some more freaking great news is I passed my EOC. As you guys know, I took a, I was taking a little longer to upload my videos on YouTube because I was studying for my EOC so much. And I got a 94 on it. So, I want to thank you guys for completely understanding why I was taking so long on my uploads. So next up, I want to talk about future plans before we continue with this video. And I'm sorry I'm already five minutes in. I'm sorry for taking that much time. But we're five minutes in and future tra future pr uh, plans, wow. Um, I'm going to be traveling. I want to let you guys know that as of right now. 
There's going to be so much big things to come. And I'm not going to be traveling in the state of Colorado. Your boy is flying. Hell yeah. So I really want you, want you guys to like look forward to not this month, but the, the following month. My birthday's coming up. Um, I'm planning to get a new camera. There's so much things that is going to happen for this channel. And I just want you guys to just stick along for the ride. Because that's what that is for me. It's this amazing journey that I get to have on this social media diary. That I get to look back on from years from now. Like I look back on my year video from now. And I look back and it's just so much have things have changed. Like I'm a completely different person. And if it wasn't for you guys for this amazing sport. I don't think I'd be where I'm at right now. So let's get on to the rest of this video. Thank you for like sitting through this little rant with me. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. From the bottom of my heart, and I'll see you guys in a bit. And look who it is. Coming to you guys with another commentary. I know you just heard my voice on what seemed like for hours on end on the rant, but hearing these beautiful voices once again, talking to you guys about this workout. So we started off with cable crunches, guys. I usually do these on my knees just because I get a better contraction in my opinion but I had to improvise because the, the machine I used was taken up so I used this flat pull down machine and as you can see I do a slight pause at the bottom to really contract the abdominal muscles and whenever I'm working abdominals in my honest opinion I really like to train on an empty stomach and breathing is the must like it's the big thing here because whenever you're contracting you're blowing all that air out on an empty stomach and it helps you really just mind muscle connect with the abdominals and really give you that really tight sensation that you're actually working the muscles and another great thing about these reverse crunches especially on this decline is i feel it a ton in my obliques for some reason i guess since i'm lifting my knees to my hips and um, I just really feel it burning all over my abdominals, especially the lower part, which is one of the hardest to get. Then I moved on to these, I'm just gonna call these rainbows. I've just been, I've seen people do it, trying to want to strengthen up my core. So I decided to incorporate these just for fun. And um, I feel like even though I'm swinging quite a bit, I've kind of gotten used to the, the movement and I've stabilized myself a lot more than I have from the beginning. And it works the overall core. Last but not least, we're gonna be hitting some cardio guys. And what I do right now is I'm doing four sessions a week, roughly 250 calories burned per session. And I'm tracking that consistently throughout this cut. That way I can steadily increase it to increase my potential for fat loss. So hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. If you did, please be sure you give this video a thumbs up and enjoy the rest of it. We have a beautiful freaking day out here, mate. Out in Colorado Springs. Absolutely freaking naughty. Yo guys, just sticking with Joe Delaney's accent from the UK. Um, yeah, crush the gym. <sighs> what a what a video. Just talked about life, talked about future plans, and just trying to open my mind to you guys one on one because I feel like when people really hear how you are personally. Yeah, you could act a certain way on camera, you could try to be entertaining, this and that, but you really got to open up to your subscribers and viewers sometimes and show your true self because at the end of the day, that's what they're there for. They want to be there for you. They want to support you. They want to see you grow. And I'm just hoping all my subscribers are feeling those exact same way, those exact same emotions as well. So, what better way to end the video than right here, you know? I just want to thank all you guys. I know I tell you this every single time we talk. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. But when people come to me and people tell me, when people message me, hey, keep doing what you're doing. Like, I really enjoy watching your videos. Keep going. You know, like, sky's the limit. Like, you guys do not understand the emotions that run through me of how grateful and how truly blessed I am and humbled to have an experience like this because not too many people can say they're doing what they love to do and even though this is not providing an income for me I'm doing what I love to do because YouTube has provided so much opportunity for me it's just ridiculous like with the amount of support I have and I feel like there's so much more to accomplish with this YouTube stuff it's incredible I highly suggest if you guys really want to start a YouTube channel just do it don't let anything hold you back 
follow your dreams, man. They do come true. So we're going to close out this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you found it slightly motivational in the slightest of way, or if you gave a slight smile throughout this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. How could I make sense when I got millions on my mind?